Hey guys, it's Nita Ann here with Beauty by Nita. And today I'm gonna to talk about the benefit of self-care. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be right back to share some of my top tips on self-care. <music> So I know as a busy mom and someone who is an entrepreneur who's doing multiple things, I think it's really easy to fall out of taking care of ourselves, right? And I think in order to actually perform self-care, we need to know what actually fills up our own cup. And so there's a couple tips that I have that I think will help you figure out what is going to be the best means for you for self-care. So the first thing I would do is I would ask yourself, if you had all day to do nothing <laughs> and to just fill your cup up, what would you do? So I ask you that question because some of you, it might be going for a hike. Some of you, it might be sitting and reading a good book with your cat. Some of you might be going swimming. For some of you, it might be hanging out with friends and watching a movie. Everybody has a different thing that really fills their cup up. So for you, if you had all day just to focus on you and you had no other responsibilities, what would you do to fill your cup up? So I want you to think about that. And then I want you to think about if there's a time in your life that you could carve out weekly self-care for exactly that, filling your cup up. So I think that as a mom, it's easy to justify that everybody else needs more attention than we do. <laughs> At least it is easy for me. Um, but then what happens is if we're not filling our cup up, we end up not being that great with other people and things that we do need to take care of. If we don't take good care of ourselves, we start to not take good care of other people because we're not taking good care of ourselves. So for example, if I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm going to snap at my kids a lot faster than if I'm actually making sure I get eight and a half hours of sleep. For me, eight and a half hours of sleep is what I need. Uh, another example is if I'm not feeding myself properly and I'm not taking care of my body with good nutritious food or even just food in general, like sometimes I'll notice, wow, I'm like really on edge because I'm hangry <laughs> and any little thing is going to make me want to snap. And so I need to make sure I have a snack. You know, we need to take responsibility for our mood because our mood is connected to our self-care. Um, I have decided that getting a massage once a week is really important for me because my body needs that decompressing time. And today I was really stressed out and I was running around doing lots of different things and I had my massage. Thank God I had my massage because it totally relaxed me, helped me relieve some stress. So that way I can think more clearly about the priorities that I need to do. When you're an entrepreneur, even if you're, you know, not an entrepreneur and you're just a mom, being a mom is almost like being a mini entrepreneur because there's nobody telling you how to take care of that child, right? So being a mom is just like being an entrepreneur in the sense of you get to decide when that child eats, you get to decide what that child eats, you get to decide when they go to bed, you get to decide where they're sleeping, how you're gonna put them to bed. There's a lot of things that give us a little bit of that autonomy. Sometimes that responsibility can be a little scary because if we're not used to taking care of ourselves well, we're not going to actually take care of our children well, right? And so it's really important that we put self-care as a priority because if we're learning how to take care of ourselves, we can make sure to transfer those skills to our children. I know for myself, I've already started to implement in my own kids the routine of making sure you have downtime, making sure you get enough sleep, 
making sure that you're getting enough nutrition in the food that you're eating. You know, we, the, the amount of sugar that we consume daily as Americans is insane. And just sugar in, alone can increase your stress level because sugar spikes your blood sugar and then you have a crash. And so if you're eating a lot of sugar throughout the day, that's going to cause extra stress. Not only does it cause extra stress because of inflammation, but it also causes extra stress because of your blood sugar. So these are things that we get to decide for ourselves. Nobody's going to tell you how to take care of yourself. You get to take that responsibility and then transfer it on to your kids. So when you, I ask you, what's something that really fills your cup up and what's something that you would absolutely love to do once a week, I want you to put a value on that. So for me, my massages, my hair, my nails, that's actually a huge self-care part of my life that I'm not willing to compromise. So if I don't have the money for it, I'm going to go make the money for it, for my hair, my nails, my massages, because that is a huge self-care for me. So I want you to think about what I said at the beginning is if you had all day to do whatever you need to do to fill your cup up, what would it be? And if you can determine two to three times a week to do that thing. I know it seems like a lot. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have two to three times a week to focus on myself. I can almost guarantee you that if you start focusing on yourself two to three times a week and it's intentional, it's not just I'm going to scroll through Facebook because this fills my cup up. Scrolling through Facebook does not really fill anyone's cup up. It really is just a distraction from the rest of your life. I'm not saying Facebook isn't important, but it's not actually filling your cup up. What I'm talking about is something that when you're done doing it, you feel great. You feel ready to do whatever else you need to do. You don't feel drained. You don't feel distracted. You feel focused. You feel fabulous. And you're ready to face the day. So my challenge for you today is to set aside at least two times this week to do the activity that you decided is going to fill your cup up. And it may vary. For me, it's all about pampering stuff, right? The nails, the hair, the massages. For you, it could be spending time with friends. So maybe it's going out to dinner with a friend, having coffee with a friend, watching a movie with a friend. It could be working out. It could be going to yoga class. It needs to be something that is actually cup filling and you're not doing just because you feel like you have to. Now, I'm not saying that working out can't be a cup filling thing. If that's something that really fills your cup and you feel great afterwards, that's wonderful. I am so happy for you. But a lot of women in particular do not go work out for that reason. They go work out so that they can look better. And that's not really a cup filling thing. That is something that you feel like you're trying to achieve. And it's not going to give you the same overall cup filling feeling when you're done. So I just want you to think about that when you're thinking about your self care. It's not so you can achieve something. You know, it's not so you can feel better because you look better. It's really because it fills your cup up and you are more enjoy, like you are filled more with joy uh, when you're done so that you can give that joy to your family. You can give that patience to your family. You can give that happiness, that positivity. All of those things that your family needs can come from you when you take care of yourself. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. And I'll see you on my next episode with Beauty by Nita.